Uh, before that, are you hearing my voices? Eh, do you hear me? Dengar tak suara saya? Please anyone, someone, please reply. Eh, do you guys hear me? Currently, uh, I'm having problem yes. to... Dengar. My, uh, no. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So right now I'm having problem to con to connect my to to use uh, our session for today's class uh, using my laptop. Uh, there there is a connection problem. I'm not really sure why. Because uh, my WhatsApp, why my WhatsApp on my laptop is not going to work properly. It's still connecting and cannot. The, the status uh, stated there, phone not connected. I'm not sure why, because uh, I think the line is currently uh, is good, running smoothly, nothing problem. So, and now they are connecting. Okay, I'm about to connect. Uh, I'm not sure, it's just now uh, I'm having problems for loading the WhatsApp for 10 minutes already. That's one minute they're loading. Okay, um, because uh, since you know that uh, I'm just uploading in the WhatsApp group, kita baru je nak buat naik. Uh, tadi saya dah beritahu uh, status terbaru, the latest one. I think that the, uh, today we are going to write the email or the short SCM, the short communicative message, whether email or postcard or short message uh, or notes. So we are going to construct the answer based on what you are, you are seeing right now. Apa yang kamu nampak sedang yang saya sedang share screen ni, kita akan cuba ikut dia punya recommendation. Okay. Uh, students, uh, as you are seeing the, this page, this is uh, only the basic recommendation and suggestion. Ini adalah uh, salah satu uh, apa, uh, uh, cadangan ataupun uh, tips ataupun kita panggil kat sini uh, as a good starter for you for those who uh, for those students who not really uh, convinced or tak berapa yakin macam mana nak uh, start well. Okay, how, they don't know how to start well. They don't know how to uh, to construct the each of the senses uh, very well. They tak tahu macam mana nak mula ke ayat seterusnya, macam mana nak beritahu ayat, ayat satu lagi pula. Okay, so this is a very good uh, information to all of you. Um, sorry. Okay, so I know that uh, if I'm using my phone, so basically uh, your your view is not really uh, as good as if I'm using my laptop. So I hope you can bear with it. Kamu boleh follow my class. So, uh, wait for a while. I'm trying to reach and uh, connect to our class right now using my laptop first. Not strong, huh? suddenly the phone is just stated not connected. I don't know why. Okay, uh, currently, uh, I'm trying to connecting into the uh, Google Meet class, our session right now. So, as I said, see later, so we're going to use the laptop later on, and we will use uh, and construct the, the answer using the laptop and using the Microsoft Word. So, yes, here we are. Yes, yeah. uh, I think you can see me there. Okay, 
So, uh, tak nak I'm connecting. So I think later I put on hold this uh, camera. So I'm using this phone camera. So it's better that you know that I'm talking with the same camera. So I'm going to share the document. Uh, So before that, uh, okay, uh, okay, currently I can see some uh, of your friends uh, already registered their uh, attendance so for those who still not yet done yet so please do it right now okay please record your attendance by put your full name your your phone number and your institution name your school name okay which institution are you from okay to list number Bapa Noh, nombor telefon dan juga nama institusi sekolah kamu eh. Okay. So. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, good. So, everything is set up now. Uh, I hope you still remember what we are talking and we already discussed uh, last week. We, we touched this part at, uh, during our last part of the class. Before we ended the class, we did the time class. Okay, I feel some of this uh, uh, for a short uh, moment there. Okay, during that class. So, I did review what I've done this job. Okay, uh, so we, uh, after this, we are going to use uh, this type of prison, this type of format, this type of uh, suggestion, uh, uh, kita panggil kat sini rangka, kita punya uh, plan eh, uh, answer plan kat sini eh, answer slide. Before that, uh, this is the sentence that we are going uh, copy down, maybe some of them copy down, kita akan copy paste beberapa ayat, okay. Uh, this is very important uh, so that you know how to uh, to adjust your point based on the sentence uh, uh, presented here. Okay, so saya tak nak kamu terlalu uh, ikut ayat tersebut uh, melulu. Okay, I don't want you to just copy and paste. 
uh, without uh, making any adjustment. So it, is, it is very important that you know how to adjust your sentence because not everything will be suit uh, in the field, in the empty spaces there. Because semua ayat ataupun kita boleh just terus masuk situ eh. Uh, we need to we need to do some adjustment if needed kalau diperlukan. Okay. Uh, so uh, so uh, sentence to start your idea and this. Okay. So this, this is not our uh, starting answer. As we can see actually we have to start the answer based on uh, Okay, uh, okay, last time we already discussed about this. Okay, a bit blurry there. Okay, you can see the sharing is missing here. I don't know why. Why is the sharing is not here? Is it because I changed the pitch? Yes. Sepatutnya tak ada masalah. Why? Oh. Okay. Wait. Um. Supposed to be the sharing screen should be presented right now. I've done the sharing screen. Why is it not pop up yet? So, huh? Okay. It took some time. I don't know why. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, I'm really curious what happened tonight. <laughs> Usually it's not like this. Uh, okay, students. Uh, we we talk about this last time. Okay, we have reviewed uh, everything here. So just to be remind that before we construct all our sentences based on the note that we are reviewing just now. Apa berdasarkan ayat-ayat yang kita dah tengok tadi? Sekejap ya. Aduh. Ya. Kakak. Sorry students, my, my dear students, sorry, uh, my kids uh, uh, just interrupt, uh, <laughs> just interrupt. Okay, let's continue also with this section today. Uh, guys, so uh, remember, uh, since we're going to construct uh, the, the, the answer based on the format, based on the suggestion sentence, but be reminded that we must uh, follow the system. So as you can see here, Okay, I hope you can see my cursor here. Yes, okay. So, write a brief introduction. You may include words from the stimulus. Yes, so we are going to do this first. Kita kena buat lah benda ni dulu kan? Ah, kena lah buat dia punya introduction dulu. So, you, we must do this first. Okay, so later on, after we finish all the, uh, you follow all the format system, all the, uh, all the suggestion centers uh, provided in the notes uh, just now, we are, go we, are we are going to end our answer with the relevant, wait, uh, a brief hope from our point of view uh, for our conclusion, for our closing. Uh, so,
Okay, continue. So, uh, so, so uh, for your information, for your notifi for, for your notification that we are going to uh, construct the answer together with the introduction and conclusion as well. So, uh, so right now I'm opening the Microsoft Word. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So students, uh, yeah, I think I, I want to select the question first. So let's select the question. How about we choose our question first before we construct the answer? Okay, ini nak buat khusus sepasal cuti sekolah. Okay, either cookery or computer course. Nak buat khusus masakan ataupun khusus computer. I think uh, I try to find something else. Okay, how about this one? Okay, this is a destination di Pahang, Melaka, Osrawa. Okay, I think this is uh, interesting. Okay, maybe because of the the sentence uh, just now are uh, uh, coincidentally compatible uh, to answer the question. Okay, tadi kita ada tengok contoh di pergi Langkawi kan? Okay, our our notes. Okay, our notes suggestion the destination is Langkawi. So there are some points there. So maybe we can use this uh, this question. Uh, try to adapt the points sentence suggested in the notes. Okay, kita akan cuba. Okay, students, uh, after this, I'm going to share uh, the, Sorry, yeah, my kids is crying. The one um, he, he, he trapped the class. Okay, yeah. Uh, so since I'm going to share the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Word, so I need all of you uh, to stay with the question by referring to the document I shared in the WhatsApp group because I cannot use uh, cannot use this uh, uh, space here. Because I, I haven't uh, adjusted myself and made myself uh, compatible with the software. Actually, actually that is the software. I told you last, last time. That is the software that using by another teacher. He can directly use the document, here, but actually that's PDF. Because this one is not PDF. This is a picture. This is an image. Okay, uh, so I, I, maybe I need to learn more how to, uh, to use it later. Okay, uh, so by the way, it's not a problem. So basically, this is the question. So let's understand clearly for a while. My family and I are thinking of going on a holiday soon. So this is a holiday. It's a vacation. Unfortunately, we can't seem to decide on destination. So yes, we did, we talked about this question uh, before this. Yeah. So we could either go to Pahang, Malaka, or Sarawak. Which one? Or maybe somewhere else. So where do you think we should go to? Let me know what you think. Okay, yes. So uh, we are going to share our thoughts. 
Kita akan kongsikan dia pendapat kita, cadangan. So, basically we are going to suggest him. So, we are going to suggest Justin. Okay, eh? So, right now we are going to WhatsApp the answer. We are going to write SCM to Justin. Short communicative message to Justin. Yeah. So basically, is this an uh, email? No, it's not email. Uh, yes. But based on the based on the instruction above here. Okay. Read the message from your friend Justin. That's it. Not read the email. Not the read the the postcard or not or not read the memo or anything. It's just a message. So you can consider this a short communicative message. A basic SCM. Eh? So this is a read. Uh, this is a simple message. So we're going to reply Justin with the same format as well, a simple message. So you see, hi Justin, dear Justin, hello Justin, uh, okay, my friend Justin. So anything you can write here. So basically, this is hi Justin. So since hi Justin is here, you do, since the answer already provide you hi Justin, you don't have to write again hi Justin there, or dear Justin, or good morning Justin, no. Okay, unless if there is nothing here, so you may start by doing your own version. Okay, Justin. Uh, apa? Uh, hi, hey, bro. Ah, itu ke kan? Anything lah kan? Uh, up to you kan? Okay, uh, so. Uh, okay, there's nothing here. So, the answer. Okay, there's nothing here. So, that's it. That's all. So this is only a space, uh, a space, uh, an empty space of answer. Uh, I'm just uh, empty answer space. So ruang jawapan yang kosong yang we don't have to really bother much. So we just con straight to construct the answer right now. So uh, maybe uh, which one I would like to choose? Yes, vacation, the most destination for vac the most popular uh, for vacation destination. Biasanya uh, destinasi percutian yang paling popular adalah Melaka lah. Compared to these three, uh, these three states, uh, daripada tiga negeri ni, yes, uh, perhaps Sarawak also popular. Yes, Pahang also has it, it has it uh, special, speciality. Okay, ada keistimewaan sendiri eh. Uh, including the Taman Negara eh, the National Park kan. Also the Gunung Tahan and a lot of things there. But Melaka is the most uh, popular one compared to these three lah. So, do not, uh, my suggestion, kalau nak pilih satu tempat, uh, be sure that you are really confident and uh, confident with the choices. Eh, pastikan kamu confident dan kamu jangan main hentam main pilih je. Lepas tu tak tahu nak cakap apa eh. <laughs> okay, uh, okay uh, and for me, Melaka, uh, since it's uh, a history state, okay, uh, negeri yang uh, bandar bersejarah, negeri bersejarah, history states, so there are so many things there, so many uh, places, uh, interesting places there. So we go, we have a lot of things to we can, to discuss later. Okay, but never mind. The answer still are uh, referring to the suggestion notes. Okay, suggestion in the notes. So we go, we are going to use that kind of answer. So currently, I'm going to choose bracket. So how are we going to start? Let's let's start uh, continue. Okay. So we
Okay. So, uh, just now the question started with hi, Justin. Hi, Justin. So, uh, based on the question, okay, uh, currently, it, uh, I hope uh, any of you please refer to the document uh, since I cannot share with, uh, in the uh, presentation screen. So, currently, I'm showing you uh, the answer page so that we're going to type, we're going to construct uh, right now. So, please refer to the question in the WhatsApp group that I already uploaded just now before the class. So please refer to the question about the vacation that Justin write message to you. Yeah, about uh, either Pahang or Malacca or Sarawak. Okay, which one is the best location for vacation destination okay 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 currently i'm uh i'm looking at the question right now okay so uh, before I start my answer, before you start, before all of us start the answer, okay, make sure if you want to start the introduction, look at the question, look at the message properly to make sure you are going to start with a very good introduction that compatible to the message. Kan, dia kata kan, kalau kita tengok, kalau ingat balik tips yang ada rangka jawapan tu, dia kata, kalau nak buat uh, introduction, pastikan menjawab ataupun reply kepada message tersebut. Uh, okay, bagi brief, ringkas. Introduction yang ada kaitan dengan petikan tersebut. Uh, okay, uh, on the message, related to the message. So, uh, so we, we may make we may make a comment. Kita boleh bagi satu comment ataupun satu uh, reply berkaitan dengan message dia. Uh, uh, since this is uh, going on holiday soon. Uh, so, how about I do it? How about like this? Thank you for asking my friends. Okay, uh, this is a very brief introduction, students. Satu uh, uh, introduction yang uh, bagi saya, okay, let me, for that, uh, pada saya uh, simple, 
uh, serta menjawab uh, mesej yang di, diberikan yang telah di, diberi kepada kepada kamu okey so you are replying him the message uh, you are showing him that you are noted that uh, he is uh, asking you uh, asking your opinion Okay, he seeks your advice. Dia minta kamu punya pandangan dan juga uh, nasihat. Okay, apa, uh, mana tempat yang paling best. So, ini cara kamu. Okay, so the, the second sentence is very important. To show to you, to go to the next question. To start answer your, uh, your, your, apa, your choices. Untuk mulakan pilihan kamu. To start give your, uh, your, apa, uh, okay, apa, Uh, your concrete answer. Contohnya, uh, j- j- kamu dah pilih Melaka. So, before you start Melaka, you must uh, create something that related to Melaka. So, for me, Melaka, I said that my based on my real experience, uh, pengalaman saya. So, this is my turn, okay? Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, so ini saya punya versi yang bagi saya agak panjang okay. For me, quite, quite long Maybe you can do I think Melaka is the best uh, is the best destination uh, uh, As I google already Atau as I searching in the internet uh, As uh, the best destination for vacation Aku boleh, boleh cakap macam tu okay. uh, Bagi saya ayat kedua ni sebenarnya The second sentence, kamu boleh kata, okay, another version eh. Okay, saya akan buat satu lagi version kat sini. Okay. Ini another version of introduction eh. Put this in your scene.
Syekh, ha, satu lagi. Macam mana saya mulakan jawapan saya untuk masuk kepada Melaka. See? The third sentence, concrete choice. Okay, concrete choice. Okay, I, I'm, okay saya akan stop sharing. Kita akan tengok balik macam mana dalam skema jawapan. We're, we're referring back in the, in the suggestion answer based on the notes. Okay. Okay guys, ah, I can see the suggestion answer is much simpler. It's much simpler. Lebih ringkas dan lebih mudah. As you can see, the first sentence, you see, your teacher has made the right choice by choosing you. I think you should go for public speaking competition. See, lebih ringkas. Very brief introduction. You may include words from this stimulus, okay? You may include the words from the stimulus. Maksudnya, kamu boleh masukkan perkataan daripada bahan. So, since uh, from our stimulus, from the message, just, just, just this message wrote to us, apa yang ditulis pada kita, dia nak pergi pilih yang mana satu, okay, saya reply, saya gunakan bahan dia, bagi tahu, kalau kamu nak pergi, kalau kamu uh, nak, apa? Perlu tulis greeting tak, sir? Okay. Uh, uh, for me, I hope, okay, greeting saya ada seorang yang perlu tulis greeting tak? Uh, sorry, I forgot to silent. Okay. Okay. Uh, some students uh, made a simple greeting. Hi Justin, I hope, uh, I hope you're good. Uh, I hope, uh, okay. I think uh, the greeting is not really important, but I cannot say that you don't have to write. It's up to you. You may write. Okay. Hi Justin. Uh, uh, good evening. Ataupun, Hi Justin. Uh, great, well, great to see you. Uh, okay. Thanks for texting me. Okay. Uh, just macam tu sahaja. That's how uh, you can see. Compared to the answer, the, the second sentence already uh, respond to the question as clear as possible. Maksudnya, apa, memberi maklum balas kepada soalan uh, se sejelas yang mungkin. Maksudnya dia beritahu public speaking kat sini. De Maksudnya itu respon kepada soalan. Soalan kata nak choral speaking ke, public speaking ke, spelling bee ke, ataupun uh, poem recital, mana satu. Okay, from this four, which one? Okay, so at the second sentence, dia terus direct public speaking. That's how the suggestion answer. But based on our sentence just now, I I'm I'm doing that at the third sentence because for me kalau nak buat sentence uh, introduction for me is if you use only one sentence is kind of too short uh, that's my opinion okay but uh, as you can see this is not from me this is from books from uh, exercise book from notes book from uh, so from some teachers out there so maybe this is also acceptable so you don't have to really worry about greetings okay tak buat greetings tapi you terus bagi tahu kat sini but still depend on your school if your teacher uh, apa uh, kita panggil apa uh, prefer if your pre teacher prefer and your teacher uh, is uh, kita panggil apa lebih suka lah, lebih cenderung prefer lah kan okay so teacher prefer that you are right if she wants you right uh, the introduction better you do so so what kind of introduction or greetings apa yang Teacher kata nak guna greetings kan. So, ada banyak jenis greetings sebenarnya. Banyak. So, jangan risau. So, if you look at my uh, answer, if, if you referring at the answer just now. Stop presenting. Okay. 
for me this the first sentence is greetings ah this is greetings ah uh, uh, macam kita uh, uh, some of your friends on it eh ah uh. okay Oh, saya terlupa nak bagi maksud eh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so, so good to see you, Justin. Uh, and really glad to hear about your plan for coming holiday. Uh, okay. So, okay. Uh, bagi saya, uh, ini pun dah cukup lah. Thank you for asking my opinion. Uh, okay. Okay, so. Uh, what else? Okay. What else? A greetings. Ah, uh, kamu sebenarnya kalau kamu kamu kalau kamu nak tanya apa itu, Jan? Eh, hey. sorry guys, interruption. Okay. Ah, uh, kalau kamu tak pasti pasal greetings ni macam mana? Ah, uh, sudah siapa yang tak paham pasal greetings adalah kata-kata aluan. Biasa kata-kata aluan ni kita nampak dalam surat, kan? Okay. Tapi ingat, ini dia bukan surat. So, kita tak pernah kata-kata aluan yang very serious. A very good morning. I hope you are in a good condition. You are in a pain of health lah. Apa benda kan. Itu untuk surat. Ya, itu, itu untuk ucapan for speech. For speech, for competition. Pertandingan uh, syarahan ke apa. Itu penting. For greetings eh. A very proper greetings penting. Tapi because this is message. Okay, so kamu nak bagi greetings pun just straightforward macam saya buat pun tak ada masalah. Okay eh. Ha. Maybe some of teachers would, would, would comment my introduction too long. Ada mungkin kemungkinan ada cikgu yang kata saya punya introduction saya dua baris ni agak panjang. Dekat sini dah 30 perkataan. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 eh. <laughs> okay. Uh... Ah, ah, dia betul 30 perkataan eh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, ah. Yes, guys. How many words that we should uh, write here? Let me see. In about 80 words. In about 80 words. Hanya perlu 80 patah perkataan, guys. Ah. Uh, so, I think... That's why the, the introduction, the greeting is very short. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can see my, okay, the, these two lines that I'm uh, highlighting consisting 30, 32 perkata perkataan. For me, it's not good for introduction. Terlalu panjang. Better introduction below the 25. Because your answer should be around 80 words. But maybe the maximum should be 100 only. Okay, eh? okay. But for those students who, kalau siapa yang ada masalah untuk tulis panjang, so untuk cover backup awak kalau takut tak sampai 80, uh, maybe type of uh, answer, uh, sentence boleh cuba. You may use, you you, you may try by uh, starting with a, a longer introduction. Uh, okay, uh, siapa, siapa yang tak ada dia. Eh? So, how what is the longer introduction? Uh, apa introduction yang Introduction yang lebih panjang, kamu buat dua ayat macam ni. Okay, macam ni. Thank you for asking my opinion. First sentence, I am really honored. Saya rasa super besar hati. Eh? To share you the best holiday to share for your family. Based on my experience. Okay. 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 So, I've been to Melaka for my, for my family vacation for several times. Okay. So, and those were also moments and memories. Okay. How many words here? Uh, 19. So, without you, uh, uh, making any explanation, I already write almost 50 words. So, this is quite long. So, maybe I shut. Cancel this one. Okay. So, we will skip the second one, we'll start with the first one because this is a bit shorter here. Okay. Okay. 
So I think this I can skip also. Ah, to make it shorter. Yeah. Okay. So how how many was here? Okay, about thirty five. Okay, about thirty five. This is quite good. Okay, this is quite good. So basic guys, before you start your explanation, before you start your reasons, okay, as the third sentence, pada ayat ketiga, kamu dah mula make your clear just just uh your 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 clear option, your clear choice, your clear justification, clarification. Kamu nak pilih yang mana? Ini dia. Eh? So the, the the examiner will will be, will mark will focus on your third sentence. Ah, okay. Eh? Okay, I think better I uh, I end the center with this one. Okay, it's, it's much better. This is the right place for you. Okay. Okay, so, so how about we start our reason? Okay, let's look at the notes. <laughs> very simple very simple in my opinion i choose tak boleh lah i choose the melaka that's why in my view i suggest that you choose laka this is because of two reasons ah guys compared to my this sentence is much easier okay ah so i guys i hope you guys you are focusing on what i'm uh, reading right now uh Sentence number one, sentence number two, sentence number three. Actually, this is one of the good starter for your explanation. For me, this is a good one, uh, a very basic and a very common and a very easy one to start your third sentence. Ah, okay. Ah, senang je. Tadi kan saya kata uh, saya dah pernah pergi melaka ke family satu ini adalah tempat yang bagus awak kan. But this one is very simple. I can recommend you. Okay, I recommend you to choose Melaka. This is because of two reasons. First of all, what? Senang ke? Ah, I suggest that you choose Melaka for your uh, vacation destination. Okay, there are three impo important reasons for me to choose that. The first reason is, hmm. okay. Okay, how about we we try to use this one? Eh? Uh, it's, it's too easy, sir. <laughs> it's too easy. Yeah, it's too easy. <laughs> okay, I don't know what you mean. Uh, yes, uh, I don't know what you mean. It's too easy. But uh, for me, uh, for those students who, who, are, who are having a uh, problem to write the sentence, this is very easy. Okay, just copy and paste. <laughs> okay, eh? So actually, we are, kita nak tengok dia punya reason sebenarnya. Macam mana nak buat reason dia? Okay, eh? Okay, see, see, this is the reason lah kau we are learning. Okay, so for example, Malacca. So why interesting? So we are going to construct the sentence. Here. Okay. Okay, uh, students. Uh, I, I, I can. Uh, I expect that some of you here. Uh, oh. Some of some of students here histo historical place can expand the knowledge. Very good, thank you very much. You are providing. You are just like one of your friends providing in the. Okay, everyone can look in the in call message. There are some uh, points and opinion from your friends. I think that's quite good. Nampak macam bagus eh. Okay, so Hafiz Sami say historical place can expand our knowledge. Yes. Thank you. Eh? So, if someone would like to share the point, you may do so right now. 
Oh, okay, I have the feeling. Wow, guys, one of your friends just now write something here. <laughs> okay, I can see uh, some of you in the group is really good in English. Uh, it, it's quite good is making sentence construction in making reason sentence. Okay, thank you very much for assisting me. Okay, uh, you see, your friend, uh, okay, Farah and Sarah are doing the sentence, are creating the sentence in a very different way. This is a creative way. Just now, as I said, the notes are providing you a very basic and simple for those words. It's quite weak or average in writing sentence. Pada siapa yang rasa dah memang dah mahir, okay, ataupun confident with your sentence, continue. Okay? Continue as your teacher uh, already provide you what your teacher already uh, taught you in the class. Continue as usual. Okay, I have the feeling that Malacca is the perfect place for you and your family. Since it has a lot of attraction for the tourists and the travelers. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot demand anymore. This is very good. Okay, for me, it's, this way is so good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, it has a lot of attractions for the tourists and the travelers. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will have to copy paste. Okay, I have to copy this sentence. Uh, just for my notes. Students, uh, I don't want to make the sentence lag like longer. Uh, apa contoh tempat menarik kat Melaka lah? Students, can you provide me some interesting places at Melaka? Ah, saya confident dia pilih Melaka tapi saya tak tahu apa yang menarik kat Melaka. <laughs> Eva Musa. Itu kubu kubu kan, Eva Musa, Eva Musa je lah, cukup. I don't know what's, what what to what to state there, Eva Musa. What else? Um, apa lagi menarik ya? Apa lagi yang menarik uh, selain pada tempat uh, sejarah, apa lagi menarik kat Melaka? Aduh, apa lah. Padahal Melaka macam-macam ada. Uh, apa yang ada Melaka? Selain pada tempat, tempat sejarah. Apa ni? 
Ah, oh, menara tabung seri. Yes, yes. Seri, ya. Okay. Eh, uh, menara tabung seri. Yes. You win the whole Malacca City by apa lah? Naik, mula, naik menara tamu sari yang naik atas pun pergi ke apa lah. <laughs> okay. You win the whole Malacca City by uh, kita panggil apa? Uh, I don't know what, what, is the, what is the character lifting lift. Lagi tak bersaing, mula atas lah. 